Hi, I'm Tracy Austin. Now I want to take you through the overhead, a shot that I love because if you're in this position, you're probably going to win the point. The overhead, what's critical in the beginning? Well, you're at the net. Am I going to get a volley? Am I going to get an overhead? Oh, okay, the racket's beveled. They're hitting the lob. What do you do first? Arms up and move back. Your belly button, if you're righty, is now going to be facing the fence over here. So you've made that move. You're moving your feet while you are turned. Very critical to move your feet a lot on the overhead because the ball is coming down and if there's any wind at all, you want to continue to move your feet so that you get right under the ball. So arms up. Why are the arms up so important? Well, first of all, this is your hitting arm, but why do you need that left arm up? Because with this up, it helps you to keep the head up that has the eyeballs that are going to watch the ball. If you have the arm down like this, you're probably going to come down too soon and it's also much better for balance. So the feet are moving, racket head up, then you're going to drop that racket head down below your back right at the last second. Where are you going to make contact? Just like on the serve, right about one o'clock. And look how your shoulders come through together, just like throwing a ball. So they rotate through together and I have moved my weight from kind of evenly balanced to forward onto that front foot. One problem that a lot of people have is they want to just win the point on that one shot, that one overhead, so they muscle it and they get really tight and actually you want it as loose as possible and let the racket head do the work and let your arm just move along for the ride. So you got that great shoulder turn, that great footwork because it's a little windy today. Right, stop right before you strike the ball and move your move your weight onto the front foot, keep your head up the whole time and even try if you're practicing your overhead to keep your head up afterwards to make sure that your eyes are on that ball. And then you're finishing on balance. If you're finishing off balance like this, then you probably haven't done a great job with your footwork before you strike the overhead. Let's check it out. So I'm here, arms up right away, ball is going to come, move the feet and get that eyes on the ball and the weight moving forward in the balance. And the sun a lot of times is a problem on the overhead. Actually right now it's one o'clock, the sun is in the worst possible position. How do you combat that? Well if you can, while the ball is going up and you can put your hand like a center fielder would in baseball in front of the sun so that you can keep track of the ball as long as you can, that's very helpful. You keep that hand up, there you go. And one more, hand up, front of the sun, and into the court. The other thing that's really important and why you want to keep those arms up is because if I come down too quickly, my head comes down. I'll give you an example of that. Okay, my head, arms down, and then the head comes later. You want everything to be coming through at the same time, just like you throw a ball. Another problem that a lot of club players have is that they face the net on the overhead and I'm going to demonstrate that. You're facing the net on the overhead, the ball comes and you don't have as much momentum. When you get that shoulder turn and that belly button facing this way at the start and then the belly button's facing towards this way at the end, then you used all parts of your body together to have the most effective overhead. Good luck.